Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining today's webinar, Stay in Touch Product Enhancements, version 5.54, Chain User Dashboard and General Release, and more, presented by Stay in Touch Implementation Consultant, Natasha Leck. I'm your host, Aaron Fisher, the content writer here at Stay in Touch. Today's presentation will cover how you can get the most out of the Stay in Touch PMS version 5.54 product release. In this webinar, we will illustrate that the PMS now alerts users upon property group deletion, highlight extended early check-in options via Stay in Touch guest mobility, show that the PMS now saves signatures for viewing on the guest bill during kiosk check-in, discuss enhancements to the chain user dashboard, including chain color selection, non-live hotels do not display on the chain dashboard, closed rates display last on the chain dashboard when sorted by bar ascending, and finally, we'll explain the multi-property guest card note uh, sharing functionality. We'll have a short Q&A session at the end of the presentation. Feel free to submit questions throughout the presentation, and we will answer them in the order they are received at the end. And that's all I have right now. Natasha, I'm gonna hand the presentation over to you. Thank you for that introduction, Erin. Uh, let me just show, share my screen. So the first item of the release notes is that when you're trying to delete a property group, you will now uh, receive an alert. So the way that you can view this is by going into the menu and then going into settings and settings again. And then under chain, over here, we have our property groups. Now, if I click into my property groups and I try to delete one of the groups that I have created, I now get an error that will tell you um, exactly what will happen, which means that the hotels in this property group will no longer be associated with it, and the property group will be deleted from all properties within the chain. Then the next item is that if a guest attempts to check in using guest mobility, they will now receive a message that they can check in early if they select a time within the early check-in windows. So I can show that over here in our demo environment. Under promos and upsell, I have the upsell early check-in configured. I have my early check-in upsell windows, one for six o'clock, one for 6.15, and one for 6.45, with the correct add-ons attached to it and our early check-in time ending at six. Now, if I change this, so let's have a look. I'm gonna search for my reservation by filling in all the necessary details. I'll have to accept the terms and conditions and continue. Let's have a look. So now I get to put in my expected time of arrival. If I put in a time before six o'clock, which is my earliest check-in window, so let's say 5.15, if I now press on continue, you'll have an early check-in alert, which states that I have selected an early check-in time, and I have to uh, make sure that this is before or after 6 p.m., which is obviously what we've set to be um, our earliest check-in window. So now, if I get to select an arrival time, you'll see that the only time that is actually available now is not 5.15 and 5.30 and 5.45 anymore, but only from 6 o'clock onwards. And when I try to use the 6 p.m. one instead, I will be able to continue from there with my check-in on guest mobility. Then the next item on the release notes, I will show from the release notes document itself, um, as we are now saving signatures taken for credit card authorization and payment during stay in touch guest kiosk check in. So, when we're using the kiosk, um, and this signature will then be saved under the bill and charges screen. Um, as I don't have a, a terminal uh, attached to my laptop, I'm unable to show this, unfortunately. But luckily, we have the release notes where I can show you how this would look like. Um, so you'll see that you'll sign the screen after the credit card capture, and then this signature will then be saved under the guest card. When we go into our bill and charges under the first bill, you're able to open this pop up here, which wasn't there before, with the signature of the guest. Now, we also capture um, the fact that the guest himself or herself has agreed with the terms and conditions. And you can see as well that if there's no credit card involved and no signature, 
that we will still capture the acceptance of the terms and conditions in our activity log. Then we have some new um, exciting things to share about our chain admin and multi-property functionality, um, as this is now in general release. You can read more about the functionalities in the release notes uh, 5.52 and 5.53. But in addition to the previous functionalities, it is now also possible to have a chain color on the chain dashboard. So let me just go back to my chain dashboard. from the top left of my screen. Right here on the right hand side, I my signature is in a certain color. And um, if you want this to be able to change, uh, you can contact supports and they can select an option for you. The options that we have available are shown in the release notes, but there are all these colors over here that you can choose from. And then if you don't have a, a chain dashboard logo, but just the name of the hotel over here, that will also display in the color chosen. Then the next item is that all hotels that are in live or configuration status will display on the chain dashboard. All other statuses such as canceled will not display as hotel anymore on the chain dashboard. Now, when selecting our sort by bar ascending option, you will see that the closed rates will display last on the screen. So right now it is organized by name and you can see that some of the bar rates have been closed and these still show at the top. So if I now sort by my bar ascending, you can see that it happens this way. And then under here, you can see that our bar rates that are closed will show at the bottom of the page. Then the last night item of these release notes is that users um, that have access to multiple properties will be able to view all guest card notes for all properties within the same chain. So let's have a look. If I go back into my hotel and I go into menu, front desk and guests, if I search for my own guest profile, under our notes, we can see that multiple notes have been put on this guest card. You can see here that this is the one that I've created, and this is the one that I'm able to make changes to, or that I'm able, as you can see here, or that I'm able to delete as well. However, any notes that have been taken on the other properties, such as here, you can see Stay in Touch Hotel or on Garden Park, I'm not able to do anything with these. So this really depends on your home property, if you can make adjustments to the notes. However, if I now move into Stay in Touch Hotel, let's have a look. I move into Stay in Touch Hotel. I go on to my guest again and I search for my own profile. You can see here that this has now been changed and that the note that I can currently change is the one note that has been made on Stay in Touch Hotel. And this is the one that I'm able to make changes to. All right, we'll leave the floor open for any questions re regarding to the release notes. All right, all right, thank you, Natasha. So I'd now like to turn over the floor for questions. Remember, you can submit questions through the question box in the middle of the control panel. So I'll give everyone a few seconds to enter those. All right, I'm not seeing any questions, so I'd like to take to the floor to offer some final thoughts. So in this webinar, we illustrated that the PMS now alerts users upon property group deletion. We highlighted extended early check-in options via stay in touch guest mobility. We showed that the PMS now saves signatures for viewing on the guest bill during kiosk check-in. We discussed enhancements to the chain user dashboard, including chain color selection, non-live hotels do not, not display on the chain dashboard, and closed rates display last on chain, the chain dashboard when sorted by bar ascending. And finally, we explained the, the multi-property guest card note sharing functionality. With that, I'd like to conclude our presentation. Thank you all for coming, and if you have any additional questions, 
feel free to email me at erin.fisher at stayintouch.com. Thanks again.